What's up, people? I'm back with another vlog. As you can see, I'm at Encore. I just bricked day 18. Uh, if you haven't seen it on shorts, I got an 18-day straight challenge trying to hit a jackpot with high stakes slots. Missed it again today. You saw it yesterday, but we're not going to let that discourage us. Uh, we're going to head up to New Hampshire today. We're going to play. We're going to buy it for 500. I'm going to be able to film all my hands. We're going to play some two five hold'em at. Boston Billiards Club, baby. We love them up there. They're nice people. I think I'm going to organize a meetup game soon. So be ready for that. But, you know, we'll shorten the intros. Let's go play some polka. Update. Boston Billiards has changed their name to Gate City Casino. I guess that makes sense because it's not in Boston and there's no billiards. So I'm going to approve the new name. Here at the new Gate City, they still got some drapes up at the new poker room sick. We got 500 bucks. Let's go give it to somebody else. All right, right when I got here, the guy at the other end of the table went all in, and he's been saying he's been going crazy all day. So I make it 10 bucks. So the guy who went, he made it 110 preflop last hand with king 10 off makes it 50 preflop. So I call with king queen, and we're headed to a flop, which is a miserable ace nine three. We both check. The turn hits another nine. We've absolutely bricked this board. He just snap throws in 120, so we have to fold that one. Lost 50 first hand. Second hand, we come in. We see queen jack. Crazy guy then again pops it to 30. The guy in the one seat calls. I also call. So we are three ways to a flop. 90 in the middle. Um, the flop comes jack, nine, three which is just such a good flop for me with queen jack. Crazy guy makes it 20. The guy in the one seat calls, so I call two. Why not? So this guy pulls in all the money. We go to a turn, which is a 10. So we now have an open-ended straight and top pair. The old guy makes it 150, not even the crazy guy. We're thinking, can he really call and make that move with queen with king queen and have the nuts? We don't think so. So I call with top pair and a, a straight draw. Then we go to a river, which is a 10. So the board pairs, he instantly ships it. This is my thought process. I thought he was trying to get the crazy guy out there, and he can't have a 10. He can't have king queen. Well, guess what? I'm the worst. He did have king queen. I lost $470 firsthand. I then pick up 8-4 and a double board bomb pot, and the both boards are so bad, I can't even go all in for 30. We're off to the ATM. Yeah, we instantly got disintegrated. I have like 30 bucks left, so I went and got 300 more. The mission is now to get even. I instantly lost 50 to the crazy guy with pocket threes, the hand before this. So I'm pretty tilted. I throw out 10 with queen 10 suited. However, the flop comes a glorious king jack eight. So I have an open-ended straight. This guy bets like, I think 45. Okay, 40 by my stack. And the turn comes in ace, baby. We got the stone cold nuts. He does that. We get a little antsy. We throw it right in. We're like, I don't even know how much this is, but I call. The river, however, actually puts a third club out there, which isn't ideal. There's three people in the hand. I'm assuming someone might have a flush, but, you know, Bretzky's never been one to run away from a rivered flush. This guy does that once again. I just throw my chips in right away. I could have raised, but, you know, the flush got did get me a little scared. Guy down the end actually folds. He shows me two pair, and I show him queen 10, baby. Let's go. Finally took one down. It's a pretty decent-sized pot, so let's rake in those chips, baby. So our stack's back at 500, so we only have 300 more to go. Um, we are not helped out. We lose 100 on this hand with 10s, and then another 100 on this hand with 8s. So that brings us back under 300. We are in the danger zone again. Let's do this. So being extremely tilted and just an all-around terrible poker player, I call the crazy guys raise with, for 45 with 8, 10 off. I am then somewhat blessed by a flop of ace, seven, eight. Now he raised pre-flop. I've seen him raise a million times with absolutely terrible hands. So I'm not exactly assuming he has an ace here. So I bet his original bet, 45. Um, and he 
asked me to count my chips for him because, again, he's a freaking maniac. So I count out my chips, and then he did, which is about 125, and then he just calls. So then I stack my chips up. I'm like, I'm ready to go, buddy. And I hit a miracle card on the turn, a 10. So I ship it all in, a little bit of a string bet. He calls me. The board actually flushes out towards the end, and what did he have? Jack four off. Absolutely nothing. Again, that guy is absolutely crazy. As I'm still stacking up my chips from that win, I'm back over 500. I'm, I'm back over 400. I call a $30 bet. Look at this. I'm still stacking my chips. I'm like, get these things out of the way so I can show the people what I have. La, ha, 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 ha. That's right, baby. We rock in the Kings as we're stacking our chips from the other thing. Guy down the end just ships it. So obviously we're going to put in the call with our stack of whites. He only had about 100, but uh, yeah, we got Kings versus we don't even know. He didn't even look at his cards. So two aces hit the flop, another ace on the river. I have a full house, aces full of Kings. He has not looked at his cards yet. He sweats them out. A five, I'm just hoping for no ace, and boom, no ace, baby. We are actually now the high hand. So I have, I'm back to 500, and I'm actually the high hand right now, which is worth 300. So all I got to do is survive 29 minutes, and I get an extra 300 on my stack. I'll be dead even, and we'll go home. I then pick up pocket threes, four-way preflop for 10 bucks, a glorious flop of three ace seven so we flop a set the guy we've been battling all day throws in 20 we just call do 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 ace three seven we have a set baby the turn rips off a nine which is just a beautiful card we uh, very rarely can lose other than to a bigger set. No straights, rainbow board. We're just going to smooth call 20. Some might have said I should have popped it up by now, but the river comes a 10, which does introduce some straights, but I'm really not worried. He rips it off for, I believe, 45. Uh, it looks like 55, actually. And then I just rip 150. He thinks about it for an absolute eternity. Counts out his chips. Then he takes one back. We know he's going to call. He calls my 150. I show him the goods, the set. He actually didn't tell me what he had. He usually would. But then our stack looks like this, baby. We are all the way back in the high hand. Three, two, one we have won the high hand that's not my hand that's the plo one but here's my hand won it for 300 boom yeah we wrapped it up walking out with 900 cash plus 45 in chips they let me film the roulette spins here so you know we're doing a roulette spin on the numbers on the way out all right we got 10 on all the numbers 15 on 30. let's see if we can be give us a miracle here 33 we're dead absolutely sick comeback in there we were down over 600 i think at one point ended up up a hundred dollars thank you to the promotions and the high hand over at gate city i'll definitely be back to gate city look at that i tried to get the sign in did not work but gate city casino baby we got a meetup game coming i'll talk a little bit more about that when i get home but i love you guys and we're on the road home baby winners What's up, people? We're back. Uh, yeah, I mean, today was an absolute great day. We might have missed on the spin, but I was for sure that I was going to lose 800 in poker today. And uh, yeah, we grinded it all back, left up 100 in poker. So we're dead even on the day when you include the 100. I lost at Encore trying to do this freaking jackpot challenge. That's absolutely consuming my life. But it felt good to be back on the tripod, people. So, you know, I know I said last time I'd get the vlogs back, but this time for real. Got a lot of big things coming up. Um, early October, I'm going to be back in Vegas with Vegas Matt partying it up with Carrot Top and doing a bunch of crazy stuff. So that'll for sure be on here. Um, you know, we got merch as always. Uh, we're going to have a meetup game, Gate City Casino, Nashua, New Hampshire. End of October. I'll let you know the dates ASAP. 
Uh, it's probably going to be the last Saturday in October, but I'll confirm it for you. Don't worry. So if you want to come play poker with me, it's going to be a big, splashy game. So, you know, you might need a couple hundred, but for only a hundred, you can sit down at the table and have some fun. You might be a little short stacked. But uh, yeah, speaking of poker, shout out to the guy. He joined with my referral code, just hit the bad beat jackpot for over 14,000. So huge congrats to him. I only have like 15 in his stack. So Shout out Poker Bros. You got to love Poker Bros chips, baby. 14,000 of them. So you got to love that. Showing his skills there. So if you want to join and get the run good, that's right up there. But yeah, I mean, that's about it, guys. I'll see you very soon back on the tripod. Until next time, I love each and every one of you. Mwah, mwah, mwah.